The branch chain amino acids BCAs for short were lean, leucine and isoleucine are essential amino acids which have been studied in a number of disorders like liver cirrhosis, renal failure, burns, cancer and exercise performance. They are found in animal and plant foods but supplements are considered for those having higher requirements. Unlike most amino acids, branch chain amino acids are not broken down in the liver first. Their levels increase in blood after intake and this gives a unique advantage to BCA supplements targeting muscles. The main functions of BCAs in exercise performance are number one, protein synthesis. Two, they are an energy source for the exercising muscle, sparing stored glycogen. Three, they reduce exercise induced fatigue in the central nervous system by reducing the synthesis of serotonin. Four, they regulate body fat positively. Five, they regulate blood glucose positively. And six, glutamine produced from the breakdown of branch chain amino acids enhances immune and gut function. It boosts glutathione and antioxidant and is involved in the acid-base balance mechanism handled by the kidney. Let's look at some of the negative effects. Now, as per studies, BCAs have been associated with insulin resistance. They've also shown to increase the ammonia levels during exercise, causing fatigue. Now, when should they be taken? Just before during intense exercise, since the main purpose is to fuel activity. How much? Depends on the overall protein quality and quantity in the diet, duration and intensity of the exercise, presence of carbohydrates, especially during training, and body composition goals of the athlete, whether they are looking for fat loss or muscle gain. Are they safe for children? Yes, since they are found in food and are essential for growth as well. An underweight, intensely exercising youth athlete has higher requirements and an expert can decide when supplements are needed. Like I always say, too much of a good thing is bad. Supplementation, dose, brand and timing is best left to a qualified dietitian.